See, ladies and gentlemen, I had a brilliant idea. An absolutely brilliant idea. See, there are three creators I know online who get tons of hate nonstop, and all three of them have money issues. Always going broke. I'm talking about Wings of Redemption, who's a streamer. If you don't know him, look him up. He's a loco, all right? People go to his stream just to bully him, just to harass him. He's always complaining about money's problems, bagging on the stream for money, and people give him money, and he's making it, but just barely making it. There's another guy out there, uh, Boogie2988, very popular, successful YouTuber who has fallen on hard times. He also gets bullied by multiple people online, right? Very similar situation. And then there's DSP. DSP has been bagging fucking the 200 people that show up to his stream to pay all of his bills. Instead of getting a job, he goes to the stream and says, hey guys, my taxes are up. Hey, I gotta pay my gardener. Hey guys. And then he'll blow the little money he gets from his fans on like skins in a video game. And then hit up his audience and be like, hey guys, uh, huh, I forgot about rent. <laughs> well, I'm gonna need a donation, all right? So I've been seeing this shit play out with these three. And I said to myself, because you got to understand, with all of these three guys, there is a whole ecosphere of other creators that have YouTube channels dedicated to clipping them, bullying them, making fun of them, right? Like there's this whole industry of people making money off of these guys, but these three are struggling. So I was on the phone with Boogie. And I go, Boogie, it's time for you, Wings, and DSP to make some of that money yourselves. You guys are entertaining. Not in the way that you think. Like you're all train wrecks, right? But you are entertaining and you deserve to make money. And you don't deserve to be sitting here begging every fucking stream or every fucking show just to make it from paycheck to paycheck, you guys need to do something to make some money. I got a brilliant idea. Why don't I take the three of you, put you on a podcast. We will call it the Low Cow Podcast. Low <laughs> Cow Podcast. How is it called? How is it? LOL Cow Podcast, right? I don't even know how to fucking say this shit. It'll be fucking brilliant. Boogie goes, you know what, Keem? You got a lot of experience in podcasts. You made millions of dollars in podcasts. I trust you. I'm down for it. I'm like, hell yeah, Boogie. Hell yeah. I'm like, I know this will work. I know this will fucking work. And I was looking at all the, the, the channels that hate on these guys. And I'm like, you know what? They would fucking love this podcast. That's content for them. You know, they're, they're part of this thing. They help promote the podcast by talking shit about them, right? It all work out. Everyone will be fucking happy. All right? So... Boogie goes and talks to Wings. Apparently, Wings is kind of down, right? Wings was like somewhere in the middle, if I remember correctly. But I had to talk to DSP. So I made uh, some tweets, tried to get a hold of him. He was the most difficult person in the world to get a hold of. He's tweeting back and forth publicly telling me, hey, hit up my email. Bitch, I'm a creator. You're a creator. We don't email each other. We just talk. All right, we're equals. We jump on the phone and we have conversations. I couldn't get on the phone with him. He was being so fucking difficult. Hit my email line or email my business. Line. Fuck, go fuck yourself with your fucking email. So I told him publicly, bro, you're going to miss out on this $50,000. Because I, I figured they'd get about a $50,000 sign-on bonus for the first fucking year of this podcast. Each, all three of them. All three of them. If I had to front the money, I'd front the money. Because I know this show would make a lot of money. I know this show would be wildly successful. That's how much I believe in this concept and this idea. So I'm talking to him in the DMs and he goes, listen, I got to stream at this time. I got to stream at this time and da, 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 da. I don't fucking care when you stream. You're streaming in front of 200 people. End your fucking stream. Get the fuck on the phone with me so we can have a conversation about this. I can't. Okay, fine. So I wait till the next day. Try to hit him up. He's fucking streaming. Every time... Every time I tried to have a fucking conversation with this fucking loser, DSP, he is streaming in front of 200 people making about, I'm going to say on average, uh, $4 an hour. $4 an hour. Motherfuckers working at McDonald's makes more than that. But you can't get on the phone 
with me for for a fifty thousand dollar fucking paycheck like this shit is so fucking frustrating so i give up on it you know even though it's a brilliant idea and even though you shouldn't give up on your dreams i give up on it i'm off to doing other stuff i'm building all different types of fucking shit all over the place i got fucking so many goddamn companies and projects going on i'm off doing that shit i forget about this and i go on youtube a couple nights ago and i ended up on dsp stream and he was there saying that he needed money for fucking something and he was sitting there asking people with real fucking jobs to pay his bills again and i got frustrated and i said and you won't get on the fucking phone with me and his chat and he banned me from his chat this dude is a piece of fucking garbage if you are watching his shows and you're paying his bills you're a fucking you're 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 a fucking loser you should not support this guy he had an opportunity to make serious money to entertain you and he wouldn't do it but you're gonna still fucking give him two hundred dollars you're gonna give him fifty dollars to pay his fucking bills nah you got a job you keep your money fuck that guy